Valheim is a hundred times better without a map, also known as the no map playthrough. Here are my 10 best tips to conquer Valheim with no map and be a real Viking. Tip 1. In the middle of the summoning stones where you spawn, there's a Nordic compass, but this actually works like a real compass as well. The trident with the three lines on the top is where it's pointing north. Every single other one can be figured out from north, east, west, south and all of the other four cardinal directions. Get your bearings and let's go. Tip number two is that the coastline is your friend. Stick to the coastline in the initial hours of your playthrough. It's the easiest way to keep your bearings while you're getting yourself set up for the early game until you're forced to move further inland. The best way to get around inland is to make two main roads, one going east-west and one going north-south. The western road went to my base and the summon on the coast, while the eastern road went to an open ocean. The southern road was on meadows also to the ocean and the northern one went to the black forest probably the most important of all from your main roads and the coastline draw paths to points of interest such as Aethir. then once your path is linked up to the coast or a main road put a sign there and a direction for what your point of interest is and where to find it next tip is all about navigation just like the sun rises on earth, the sun rises in the east. The base of the great tree sprouts from the east and the final tip is in the northwest. You can also find your way at sunset as the sun always sets in the west. If you missed sunset, you can still find your way as the moon rises in the east. Even in the middle of the night, you can find your way as the moon will be directly south. And again, in the middle of the day, the sun is doing the same thing. It's exactly in the south. You can also find your direction in the ground. All you need is a pickaxe. Dig straight down and you'll notice the hole has four flat faces. And each face is either north, south, east or west. Find one using the previous tips and you've found them all. This next tip might be the best. Using a previously made compass, you can actually use a build piece to make a pocket compass. Line an asymmetrical build piece such as a stairs with north. Whenever you open your hammer again, that build piece is still pointing north and you still know where you're going. My next tips are all about sailing. When in the open ocean, always use the eight cardinal directions, though you won't have to do this when you're by the coast. Before sailing anywhere, always put down a signpost saying where you're going and what direction it's pointing. When you've hit new land, always put a very similar signpost pointing back from where you just came. Oh, and try not to sail in adverse weather conditions, especially fog. You can't see five meters in front of you. Now with adventure in mind again, always have an empty portal in your base and also bring materials for a new portal. When you get on new land, you can put that portal down, link it up with your base, sleep, repair gear, and off you go again. Going back to your starter base, you want to put landmarks and lighthouses pointing back to your base. I would put these on major outcrops, maybe four to eight around your starter base. And my final tip for building landmarks, keep looking just to the left of the mast on the boat. And yeah, right there, an oak tree just popped in before anything else. This is big. So anywhere you want to find again really easily from sea, put down an oak sapling using a cultivator and now you've got a great landmark that you can see from ages away. Leave a like and subscribe for more Valheim guides and I'll see you in the next one.